Okay, so just today, July the 2nd, NVIDIA have finally officially announced their new range of graphics cards, gaming graphics cards to hit the market. And these are going to be boosted versions of their current lineup, their current RTX lineup. And we're going to be able to tell the difference by the fact that they're going to be uh, named with the suffix of super. So the 2060 is now going to be the 2060 super, the 2070, the 2070 super, and the 2080, the 28 super. And the point is, these are supposed to replace the original versions of those cards so if you're in the market for one of those graphics cards at the moment you might do well to hold off just for the time being until these cards are uh, released later on this month now i'm not going to go through the technical details with you because well there's going to be plenty of people doing that already i'm just going to briefly go over the prices of these and where they might fit into the current market. So the biggest upgrade can be found with the 2060 Super over the original 2060. And the reason for that is all of these cards NVIDIA are boasting uh, are going to have a 15% performance increase over what it is the, the, the card that they're replacing. So the 2060 Super is going to provide a 15% performance boost over the standard RTX 2060 but the difference with the 2060 Super is it's also going to be adding more RAM or video RAM in fact it's going to be adding an extra two gigabytes bringing the total up to eight gigabytes on par with the 2070 and the 2080 now the 2070 and 2080 uh, Super Editions are not going to be adding any more video RAM so they are still going to be giving performance boosts but uh, not you know having that particular advantage now in terms of pricing the cards themselves are being marketed as replacements for the original rtx range so the 2070 and the 2080 super editions are going to be priced at the same level as their counterparts so the 2070 super is as with the 2070 itself going to be priced at 499 uh, this is in dollars and then the 2080 super is going to be priced at 699 the same as the 2080 standard rtx card now the only difference in this is that the 2060 super possibly because of the extra ram that's being provided is going to be 50 dollars more expensive so instead of 349 which is the price of the standard rtx 2060 it's going to be 399 but apparently nvidia are, are okay with this because they still want the uh, standard 2060 to be part of their range but that is now going to be seen as the entry point into their high performance gaming range so it's going to go 2060 uh, 2060 super and then 2070 Super, 2080 Super, with the standard 2070 and the standard 2080 being brushed off to one side, completely replaced. Now, the other thing that NVIDIA have said is that the 2080 Ti is still going, in accordance with their plans, going to be the top range card for the 2080 series so it's still going to be outperforming the 2080 super and there's no announcement at the moment of any counterpart that's coming out to replace it i.e there's no 2080 ti super edition so if you've still got money to burn uh, then that's probably the card you're going to want to go for and the super range is not going to be fulfilling those needs for you but if you are looking in the market for a 2060 or a 2070 or a 2080 then my advice right now is just to hold off a couple more weeks for those counterparts to come out because not only are you going to be getting a better card for your money but those cards that you're currently looking at might actually drop in price now there's no guarantee that's going to happen of course but even if you end up spending the same money at least you are going to be getting a better card at least in theory now another thing that nvidia are talking about is the fact that ray tracing which is a new technology they introduced with the rtx 20 series is going to be improved for the super range so we'll see how that actually affects real life performance in terms of the thing that ray tracing brings for us in the coming weeks no doubt but it does seem that ray tracing is still quite a niche thing there's still not a whole lot of support for it though that is changing there are games coming out over the next 12 months that are going to be making use of the feature to what extent we don't yet know but i think cyberpunk for example amongst others are going to be bringing in quite a big market for checking that out uh, especially if the new next generation of consoles are going to be adopting the feature then i think that nvidia are going to be continuing to push ray tracing and they're certainly doing so with this uh, replacement set of cards here but anyway folks i hope this helps you out so if you're planning on getting one of the new nvidia geforce rtx cards then please do let me know in the comment section and also if you do get your hands on one what your thoughts are of it and if you would recommend it to others but that's it for me for today guys 
Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.